One of the features of Java SE Advanced is Advanced Management Console. This facility gives you the ability to manage your Java clients, whether they are Java applets or Java web started clients, across your enterprise. Hi, my name is Jim Weaver and I'm a Java Technology Ambassador for Oracle Corporation and I'm going to be talking about the Java Advanced Management Console. It essentially does two things. One is it automatically tracks Java applet and Java web start app usage across your enterprise whenever they are used by different machines in your enterprise. Uh, Java usage tracks that and sends it to a central server and then the advanced management console gets that information from the server and helps you develop deployment rules which allow you to manage those Java applets and web started Java applications. There's a concept called deployment rule sets which allow you to manage what gets to be run and what is blocked. It also helps you manage different versions of Java. For example, you may have applets and applications in your enterprise that require different versions of Java, some uh, newer and some older. Also, you need the ability to be able to manage from a security standpoint what applications get run or not and what applications you require that the user answer the default prompts as opposed to letting it run without those dialog boxes. So we can control compatibility across the enterprise with deployment rules. As I said, some applications need certain versions of Java. Also, we can whitelist or blacklist applications and reduce our attack surface. So I'd like to just go ahead and take the Java Advanced Management Console for a spin and I'll show you some of its features. First we'll go to the home page and we'll notice that there are a lot of options on this page. Those are shortcuts to be able to do different tasks that are very common and those take you to these other views here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you those other views. One is the apps view. And this shows the apps that were caught by the Java usage tracker. So as I mentioned before, when applets and web start applications are invoked, it's reported to the usage tracker, and that's where we're getting our information. Here we've got five different applets and applications that were reported. There's the URLs of them, the titles, the vendors, and if we want to see more information about those, we could s click Inspect and we could find more application details. So we are here we have a list of jars. We have JNLP extensions. In this case, this uh, application doesn't have any. And also we have the JRE version and run count. So in this case, we have 1.7 as the JRE version that this applet ran, and we see that it has been run eight times by one machine. So we can find out not only how many times an application was run, but also by how many machines, so how popular it is and how pervasive it is. And now we can go into rules. If we want to be able to configure rules and control how these are deployed or whether they're deployed or whether they're blocked and what kinds of questions the user has to answer, then we just go to rules. Over on the left, we have different rule sets. So for example, we may have a science department and we'll make a rule set called science department. We've already done that here. And then we have four different rules that map to applications or applets. And then over here, we have the rules themselves. So, for example, the science department has a physics scratch pad rule, which I'll go ahead and expand that and show you the dialog that has the information for the theoretical physics scratch pad. We're showing here that the rule action is default. So that means that when this is invoked, the user is going to have to answer the default dialogs to be able to get it to run. 
another one here. We've got uh, astronaut nicknamer. These are just sample applications, kind of fictitious applications that I put together to demonstrate what how these work. Now this rule action is force run, so it's gonna it's gonna run the application, but it's gonna force it to be run at an API level of 1.8 or later. So these are how some of the rules, what some of the rules look like. Now if we would like to see what the impact of the rules are on the rule set and what the user should see, then what we can do is click on a rule set and then click this button which is rule set relationships and we can see that in the science department we've got four rules and those four rules map to four different applications and here is a an application that does some Java detection and we're good to go on this we're saying that we're it's gonna go ahead and run that and then this one we're saying because it's yellow and we've got this down arrow that it's going to run but the user is going to be asked the default questions this application is going to be blocked and that this one is going to be run but this icon means force run and it'll be forced to run on 1.8 in this case now if we wanted to create our own rule set we could click this button right here which is add a rule set and we're gonna say home computer so the uh, the home computers will get to run a different set or maybe maybe a, an intersected set of applications and we'll set up the rules for that so here it's saying that the home computer rule set was created so what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and drag a couple of the rules in there that have already been created we'll drag our physics scratch pad and uh, our astronaut nicknamer and then we'll go ahead and add one called uh, Comic-Con and uh, I'll go ahead and open this one now this particular rule is named Comic-Con and it's going to run the latest available JRE and so we'll go ahead and drag that in here as well now if I wanted to add another rule for perhaps a different application then I would simply go to apps and then say new rule and then it would fill in the information based upon the information that we got from the the Java usage tracker and then we could modify the rules for example instead of saying default we could say run or we could say block and specify other things I hope you enjoyed this brief demo of the Advanced Management Console, as well as the explanations of what a deployment rule set is and the Java usage tracker is, and how those can help you in managing the Java applets and Java applications in your enterprise.